Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I have these classy and chic pink nude coffin shaped nails. I have already applied my stiletto tips. I cut them down to the length I wanted and kind of filed the sides to shape them a little. Now I have already applied my dehydrator, my primer, and I'm just going in with a thin layer of clear builder gel as my base layer. Once it's done, I fully cured, moved on. This glitter mix I received from my lovely friend Miss Dee Dee. I will link her below. She actually sells mixes and gorgeous, gorgeous handmade nail art. So if you're interested in seeing what she has, I will link her below. Definitely hit her up. She is amazingly sweet. Okay, and so I'm just going to go ahead and encapsulate the glitter. I'm sorry that it was out of focus a lot. I have my phone set to autofocus. I don't know how to take it off and it just kind of goes on its own. I do have a more detailed video of how to encapsulate glitter. I will link it below. Okay, so once I was satisfied with the shape, I just went ahead and I did a full cure and moved on to the other nails. So for the other nails, I'm just going to go in with this white gum gel that I made. I wanted it to be white because I'm going to be using a nude polish. And it's a regular polish, so I don't want to have to do too many layers because it takes literally hours to dry. Especially when you want to put a top coat, a UV top coat, you have to make sure it's fully dried or else it will crack. So... I'm just going to build up my nails with this white gum gel. I have a video of how I make the gum gel. I will link it below. And once I am done and satisfied with the shape, I just go ahead and flash cure and move on to the next nail. And then when I am done with all the nails, I do a full cure. I filed, shaped, and buffed. Applied one layer of top coat on top just to protect the nail. Here I'm going in with the pink nude polish that I am going to be using. I originally wanted to use more of a beige nude, but I really did not like the way it looked against my skin tone, so I switched it for this pink one. I forgot to leave the name in a video shot, so I will put it down below in the description. But I just went ahead and I did two coats of this. I let the first coat dry completely and then I did another coat and as you can see I have striping tape. Um, when I removed the striping tape it actually bled onto my nail so it turned my nail blue. So I just went ahead with polish remover, removed it and then just did one solid color and just forgot about the striping tape idea. Okay. So after I was done letting it fully dry, I did another layer of builder gel to just top coat it and protect the polish in case I made any mistakes after. I'm going to go in with a gold stud and two pink Swarovski crystals. Okay, so when I put my crystals, I like to use the builder gel. You can use glue, like nail glue. But I find that it's really hard because if you place it somewhere you don't really want it, it's too late. You can't move it around unless you unless you use a really slow drying glue. So I just prefer to do it with the builder gel and it never falls off. I never have any trouble with them. So after I was done, I went with another layer of builder gel just to top coat everything off. And here you can see the final results. I wanted to go for a simple and chic look. Nothing too fancy. I'm showing you the glitter mix. It is gorgeous. Don't forget to go find her so you can purchase some of your own if you're interested. She makes a lot of different mixes too. Okay, so here's the final look. I took a lot of different pictures just because I really love how they came out. I'm not used to doing such a simple set, but that's exactly the look I was going for this time. I just wanted something elegant looking, 
and I think they really came out great. Let me know what you think below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.